Hi, I'm Elizabeth, also known as Lime Essential Beauty, and today we are going to be talking about Lyme disease awareness. I don't know if you were able to tell with any of the clues going on on my face here or in the thumbnail, but May 1st is the beginning of Lyme Disease Awareness Month. This month is so important to me. It holds a very special place in my life. Almost five years ago, I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. And so this month is vital to spreading awareness for this disease. Awareness for Lyme disease matters so much because there is no cure for Lyme disease. And many, many people who suffer from this disease also don't get a lot of help for their symptoms. And to obtain the proper medical care, to get the proper medical diagnosis is so insanely difficult. And the only thing right now that can make that difference is awareness. Making yourself aware, making people around you aware, making people in the healthcare profession aware, making your senators aware, making the CDC aware, making everyone aware so that they cannot keep ignoring this disease and the devastating effects that it has on so many people, including myself. And so for this month, I'm going to be doing different looks, but I wanted to start it off very obvious. This is the Lyme disease ribbon, Lyme with the Y. And also I did a green eye look on this side. I will just be chatting with you about Lyme disease, my experience with it, and of course other random things while I create this look. So if you would like to hear more, about what I'm going to chat with you about and see how I did this look. Please keep watching. Normally at this part I would say to like this video, subscribe, hit that bell, but what I would like for everyone to do instead is to take the awareness in and then just help spread that awareness. And if that can happen, that would be... I don't... It would be monumentally more important than a like or a subscribe or a hit of a bell. Not that I wouldn't mind those, but this awareness really needs to get out there. So if you could do that instead, that would be great. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get on into the video. Let's get started on this eye right here. That is just how we do it here in the beauty world. We just itchy, itchy, itchy with a brush. Come on, zoom me in. Let's do the eye. I already put on my base. I used the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm gonna start with the Morphe M. Charles palette. It's got all kinds of colors, but obviously I'm gonna be focusing on these greens, but it also has a lot of nice neutrals that I can use for my transition shade. Oh, I also may use, I just got in the mail, this is the Melt Smoke Sessions palette. Oh, it is so pretty. Look at those colors. I mean, this is my favorite brush to go in with first. This is just an elf brush. Instead of the colors being written on the palette, they're written on the plastic cover. So I have to keep the plastic cover so I know what the colors are. Okay, so let's see if I can get this figured out. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's called Canvas. I'm just gonna take this all over my eye. Just use Canvas. Can't tell, which is nice. I want it to be close to my eye color so that it just creates a nice, smooth canvas. Get it? Name it the colors Canvas. Come on, Elizabeth, keep going. You can do this, you can talk. And do your makeup. Okay, transition shade. Next color we will be going into with my fancy color red is Tune. Tune? Let's go for it. That looks super duper yellow and it's not, you know what? It's this color right here. I'm gonna just swatch it on the back of my hand so that you can see what it actually looks like. There we go. It's messing. It's messing with me. Enough of this stuff. Enough. Just put it on your dang eye. It's pretty. It's like a yellowy, orangey color. I wonder if we can see it when we put it on the eye, which would have been a lot smarter of an idea. I brought my eyebrow out today. See, it goes out more so that I have more space to put my eye makeup. 
all of this right here took me a minute. And by a minute, I mean, well, I did take breaks and I chatted with my son. And when I would chat with my son, then I would mess something up and I'd have to redo it. It was very important for me to think it looks good because this month is so so important to me. It is the one month out of the year that I feel comfortable talking about this disease. I really do like this transition color. When I looked at it in the palette, I was like, mm, but I am really like it. That is one of the fun things about makeup for me. You may look at a color and think, mm, and then you try it and you end up really liking it. For my next color, I'm going to go with the green. Shocking, I know. I was deciding between these two colors. This is the James Charles lighter green, and this is the color Social Blade, and this is the green from the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm gonna go with this one as my second color. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette, and it is one of my absolute favorite palettes. And if I'm looking at brushes instead of you, rude, let me pick out my brush and then I'll keep talking to you. Got it. This is up my alley. This is a no name brush. I'm gonna go in with this green right here. BH Cosmetics, no name brush, no name on the colors. I'm going in with no name brush and no name green. You know what I didn't think of until just now? That the tune color had a, it looks yellowy. Oh. No, forget it. I was gonna say, oh no, I'm scared because yellow and blue make green and I'm putting green on. Lyme disease. Ooh, I can just blame that one on the Lyme disease. With Lyme disease, I'm gonna give you some facts as we go through this eye makeup look tutorial. Lyme disease is that disease that you get from ticks. You get bit by a tick. I, at some point, was bit by a tick and as a result I got Lyme disease. Unfortunately for me the Lyme disease laid dormant in my body for a long time which it can do. What is unfortunate about that is that if you are bit by a tick and receive the proper antibiotics within about a week or two you have a lot less chance of getting chronic Lyme disease that lasts forever and ever and ever. There is no cure for Lyme disease, so all you can really do is try to contain the bacteria. It's a bacterial infection, but not one that you normally think of, like strep throat. Do you take antibiotics for strep throat? I don't know, anything that you would take a Z-pack for. So, so. There's going to be a lot of so's in this, so just bear with me. And I'm trying to do my makeup. Okay, here we go. See, now I forget what I'm saying. Dang it. Lyme disease. I was bit by a tick. It lay dormant. When it lays dormant, you end up with chronic Lyme disease. In my case, I took a bunch of antibiotics so that I could try and contain it. And then you would just be left with the effects of the Lyme disease. I guess those little suckers just really like me. I'm just like spewing out stuff that has no connection to each other at all. I should just write stuff on my face that I'm going to do and talk about during the video so that I don't forget. The crazy thing about Lyme disease is it is, they call it a great imitator, and it is called that, I'm going back to that transition shade for a second, it's called the great imitator because it imitates so many other diseases and conditions. So you may be suffering from Lyme disease and you may end up being misdiagnosed. Your symptoms may not make sense and you may get no diagnosis at all. And you think that you are losing your flipping mind because why? Because you know there's something wrong but nobody can give you an answer and everybody else thinks that you're flipping crazy. So you're like, mm, must be crazy too. So by the time I was diagnosed, I was just so happy to have a diagnosis at that time so that I could just say to people, look, I have a diagnosis. And I had no clue what I was in for. I went through all of the treatments and my body just was not having it. It was not happy with the treatments. It was not responding to the treatments. And I just ended up getting worse. And eventually you end up having to make a choice between continuing with treatments that really aren't helping you and 
paying for the things that you need to live your everyday life. And so that's why this month is so vitally important to so many people with Lyme disease. I'm not going to get upset. Awareness is so important. With the awareness comes understanding. And as more people become aware, as more people speak out, different things start to happen. It is the biggest epidemic in the United States right now. The CDC estimates 300,000 new cases of Lyme disease a year. And I would not wish this on anyone. Sorry. So for this month, I can share with people my experiences, my emotions from it, and feel comfortable doing it. And I just hope that maybe by doing this and putting it out there and putting my story and my twist on things and my way of bringing awareness through what I love and makeup, if that can help just one iota in this fight, then it's worth it. Because every day when you have this disease, you fight, you fight or you quit. And quitting is not an option for me, especially after five flipping years. I gotta get moving or I'm gonna tire out in the middle of this and then no one's gonna see the end result. So let's get moving. Next color, looking for the brush. I am going to go into the color right here, this dark green color. Oh look, thanks camera. It's called Daddy. This is the green that I have outlined. Just start building this up in my crease. And I am just kind of picking the colors as I go. I don't really have a big plan. Actually, I had it all figured out on my hands and then I washed my hands and everything that I had figured out went poof. So it all got washed down the drain with all the colors because I like to swatch on my hands the colors that I may use and then I'll put them next to each other to see what I like to do and to see what may look good. And so that is what I did. I had a plan, washed my hands. So we're just gonna kind of wing it. Can bite ya. When you hear people talking about being tired as in they have to rest after taking a shower and taking a shower, washing your hair and shaving your legs. Oh, you might as well forget the rest of the day. Whatever you were shaving your legs for, you now do not have the energy to do it. Even if it's just wearing shorts. Nope, you're in your PJs back in bed because you are busted out the house, tired. Now we're gonna come in on the eyeball a little bit here. It's not your eyeball, it's your eyelid. I always call it the eyeball for some reason. I'm actually really kind of digging this look. I'm not quite sure actually what I really wanna do from here. If I just wanna darken it up a bit and then just go in with the cut crease. Or if I just want to go for the... Oops. Or if I just want to go for the cut crease and then darken after, then I am actually going to go in with an even darker green crease brush. Really enjoy it for those small areas. I'm going to go into the Smoke Sessions palette and this is called Space Queen. I'm just using this on the outer portion of the my actual eyelid right here. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out. I just really wanna concentrate it on this area right here. I think I'm gonna deepen it up a little and just add some sparkle. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna deepen it up. Man, this is a pretty palette. We have, I believe this blended out to my liking. Hank and Henry, one of my favorite makeup brands. An indie brand, Hank and Henry Beauty. I'll leave that link down below too. These are the My Alter Ego Eye Kits. Two different colors. This will be a matte, this will be a pressed pearl. And in the bottom, this is called Madame Benjamin and matte pressed pearl. And then in the bottom, you have these amazing, beautiful glitters. So what I'm gonna do, this is called Killjoy. We're gonna go in with Tumultuous, which is this right here. This is a luster veil and a highlighter. And in fact, I have this highlighter right here on my face. And then here we go. Now we are gonna use it on our lids. I'm gonna take this brush. This is a Chanel brush, the only Chanel brush I own. We're gonna use this, pat it all over the lid. I think I'm actually gonna go in with my a little bit 
you can see with the hooded eye where there will be some transfer if you look up see where it transfers onto my other part of my eye that's where the hooded eye part comes from and so one thing that you can do if you don't want to have the transfer problem like that take your color with your brush and just apply your color kind of where that transfer goes and then it looks intentional and then you don't have to worry about the color and what it looks like when it transfers this is the my alter ego eye kit and madam benjamin and madam benjamin is the luster light at the very bottom and that's what i want to use i have it on my finger i'm going to want to put it on this part of my eye i want to wet this part of my eye but i don't really want to wet this just have it stick so we're going to do this watch we're gonna spray our eye because it, <laughs> it tastes horrible. Now we're gonna use, oh dang. Now we're just gonna use that kind of that wettish part to put on the Madame Benjamin. Now, you may think, oh, it all looks kind of very similar and all that jazz. There's a way that if you are thinking that about your makeup, that is a really cool, quick, easy fix. One thing that you can do to break things up a little bit, I am going to go back into that tumultuous and I'm going to just put that right in the center of my eye. And if it's not working as quickly as I would like, I will take a very small flat brush and I will go in, grab some on the brush and just put it right in the center where I want it. Very subtle, very little, it breaks everything up. I'm liking the look. I just want to do a little bit with the under eye. But not a lot because I have the lime written down the side of my face. I am going to take the original color tone that we used as the transition shade. And then I'm just going to try and blend this out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with the brush that had the lighter greens on it. Now what I think I'm going to do so I'm gonna go in and again use the tumultuous for this part under the brow and then I'm gonna go ahead and just go right here so what I'm gonna do now I am gonna go ahead and jump off camera I'm gonna line my eyes I'm gonna put my lashes on probably put some gloss on because my lips are feeling a little dry and then I'll be right back all right I'm back I finished up everything and I just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. The videos for this month are going to be very, very meaningful to me. So I really appreciate you watching, for listening to me. And if you could just do me a big, huge favor, if you could just take this awareness to heart and realize that this disease is out there, that there are so many hundreds of thousands of people fighting this fight every day. And if you could help to make one other person aware, that would be beyond magnificent. Again, I just want to thank you so much. And until the next one, I'll see you then.